Okay, so what's up there guys and welcome back to Dig It Detecting. Welcome to this absolutely beautiful oval uh, we have here in front of us. So really cool, uh, I've been detecting this site for about four years now and uh, the groundskeeper Eric here is a lovely bloke. So I just uh, just rocked up, sort of went over and uh, caught up with him and sort of said to him, Eric, you don't mind if I do a bit more detecting around the outside of the oval? And uh, he even said uh, this time around, he even said, mate, if you would like, you can go on the inside there. I would sort of prefer you not to dig any uh, sort of massive holes, you know, Anything that's just under the surface you can retrieve or laying on top of the surface you are most welcome to pick up. So as I said, go your hardest, go out in the centre there and do what you like. So that is awesome. We've also got this bit of grass over here leading up to the uh, the toilets there, the male and female toilets. I would like to cover today and uh, that is potentially what I come out to do today. And uh, around the oval, I had no idea Eric was going to give me permission to jump inside. So awesome stuff, really cool. We are looking for the gold coins today. Any coins in general really. Uh, mainly gold coins though uh, for the month of February uh, remember uh, last month January we were hunting the silvers and this month we are on to the gold coins for next month uh, I'd love to hear it uh, if you have any suggestions I'd love to hear uh, basically what you would like me to concentrate my time on hunting uh, or if there's any tips or tricks that you'd like to hear uh, basically uh, something that we can share for the month of March and concentrate on more so anyway we'll give this guy a dig out we'll probably be able to do him on camera uh, that is a very messy plug isn't it uh, the ground is very volcanic and dry out here especially this time of the year so let's give him a dig let's have a look oh we were tricked with a bottle top and not a two dollar coin at all never mind uh, we are hunting the, uh, the coins though today so we'll see if we can hit on a few and uh, I'm sure we will, especially out on that oval. So let's keep going and uh, we'll see what we can find today. So check that out. We got our first penny, a Rue Penny 1964. How cool is that? Right off the side of the track too. I said, we're gonna be jumping over and uh, working along the toilet block. That's exactly where we're headed. So really, really cool, 1964 Rue Penny. Our first pre-decimal coin for today. Wow. <laughs> I did not expect that to come out from here. A solid 25 on the Equinox there and uh, straight smack bang in the middle of the track. Look at that, would you? As I said, solid 25, he was just under the surface. We have a beautiful old pendant. Let's give him a clean up just briefly. And let's, oh wow, Anzac pendant, even better. I've got a couple of these at home. What a bloody cracker for king and country. Wow, 1916, I think these are. Uh, basically commemorating the Anzac troops uh, landing in Gallipoli. So, wow, I don't want to clean it up too much. Uh, potentially scratch it. So that is in amazing condition. Awesome stuff. We've dug a lot of rubbish, I'll tell you that. Uh, but that is really, really cool. We're out here for the uh, gold coins today too. However, it just seems we're digging a lot of rubbish. That was well worth coming out for. And uh, as I said to Eric, uh, I can't not wait. Give me an hour or two, mate, and I cannot wait to show you how, what comes out this time. Because last time I didn't catch up with him properly. Last time I sort of got rained out of here, and so did he. So he left, I left, and uh, I basically didn't get him to uh, didn't get to show what I'd found. So which we found some nice old coins. So anyway, uh, he's not going to go in the bag. I'm going to walk over and put him straight in the car because that is a bloody ripper. We can show Eric later. All cleaned up. So isn't it funny how, how you come out to some sites, you know, expecting to find a certain thing, you know, and you really try and target that thing uh, some days. However, it just seems like today is going to be one of those days where we're not going to get what we're targeting, and we're going to get uh, what we're not targeting instead, uh, like this pre-decimal, a beautiful shilling here. So awesome stuff. Uh, that is a penny now, a pendant and a shilling, 1958. What a bloody cracker. I did not film him. Uh, you know, thinking it may have been another bottle top. And uh, as I said, I'm really trying to concentrate on those gold coins this month. So, however, you see a nice signal like that pop up, uh, hear it, you know, come through the machine. It's not something you're going to leave, is it? So, uh, regardless of digging a bit of rubbish there this morning, that is a bloody cracker and uh, well worth the dig. So, Eric's back at the club rooms now. I noticed uh, he's been doing a bit of work out in the centre of the oval. And he's just drove out, uh, back over to the club rooms. So, uh, it must be, yeah, sure enough, 12.20. Uh, must be lunchtime, I was about to say. So, uh, while he's sitting there having some lunch, uh, enjoying some lunch, we might take over and uh, show him what we've got out already uh, for the last hour this morning. I'm sure he would love to see him. Before we go see Eric, I just stood up and got this signal. So we better dig it too. Who knows, we might have more to show uh, Eric while he's sitting there enjoying his lunch. 
Yes, I will be that annoying person that goes and annoys him uh, with metal detecting talk while he's eating. So he'll love it though. I love chatting to Eric. He's such a lovely bloke. Uh, three, four years I've been coming out here now. And, uh, you know, he's gave me permission from the get-go. Uh, you know, what I said there this morning, uh, he's gave me permission for the oval. He'd never gave me permission for that. However, he's always been uh, been such a lovely bloke and uh, never had an issue with what I was doing out here, you know, uh, working my way around the oval and detecting. So I think that's just fabulous, you know. You come across some really, really amazing people uh, when out detecting, I find. I love it. Oh, dear. That's a coin. I'm sure of it. Might be a little thrippence. Let's have a look. Ha! Oh, there we have it. Nice little thrippence. Wow, that's awesome. Although, when I say nice, he looks like he's been through the wars. That is silver though. Awesome, awesome stuff. We'll have to give him a clean up when we get home. Jeez, it's very hard to see. Very, very hard to make out anything on that little coin. That's definitely a silver though. A little th silver thrippence. So, We'll get home, clean him up, and uh, one for the conclusion. We'll also show Eric. Right, so that's it. Uh, it's pre-decimal day today, 1955. A rue penny this time. I tell you what, we're after the gold coins. We're not having that much success, so we're just hitting on those beautiful old pre-decimals. But that's okay, isn't it? Anyway, uh, as said before, we will get out in the middle of the oval. I still have not even been seen Eric yet. Uh, we'll let him eat his lunch a little bit, and then... Uh, Keep pulling these coins and then go show him. So really cool though. We'll get out in the oval and uh, do a little bit out there. We will not be using the hand digger and uh, we'll just be uh, basically picking up targets on the surface. We may even grab the uh, little tiger coin popper out of the car. And uh, as Eric said, you know, anything just under the surface, uh, you're most welcome to grab out. But really don't want you digging holes like this. So that is quite all right and uh, I am happy with that. Righto, back at the car now, and uh, Eric's back there too, uh, sitting there having lunch, as, as I mentioned there before. He's probably nearly finished, so uh, about 20 minutes since we last said uh, that we were going to go see him. So that's it, we're going to go see him now quickly. Uh, we're going to grab the toothbrush out though, and we're going to clean up that Anzac pendant, because uh, I think that is a ripper to show him. And uh, same, same with those coins, so quickly clean them up, and uh, then we'll go in the footy club rooms uh, there and show Eric. And then... The plan is to get out in the oval, uh, probably put the 15 inch coil on too, and just dig any of those surface targets. Okay, so we got our coins cleaned up there quickly. Uh, just a bit of toothbrush and water. It come up quite nice, so especially the beautiful Anzac pendant there. What a bloody ripper. So anyway, let's go show Eric now, and uh, let's see what he thinks about them all. I'm sure he's going to love them. Uh, 84 years old, Eric. Uh, so he would have been using all these himself at one point of time uh, in the early days, uh, in his earlier life. So let's go show him, uh, show him a look, see what he reckons. Okay, so we're back on the swing stick, on that detector, and uh, ready for round two. About an hour we've got to hunt this time. Uh, we probably spent an hour inside the footy club rooms uh, talking to Eric, so showing him what we'd found for this morning. So first target on the detector, as I said, uh, since talking to Eric, and we've got a $2 coin, our first gold $2 coin. So, well, our first gold coin in general. So, awesome stuff. Uh, Eric just sort of said then too, mate, look, if you want to dig down a little way, uh, you know, he's sort of seen what I did there over there before digging and what have you. And he sort of said, you know, if you want to dig down a little way in the oval, as long as it's neat, uh, you can go ahead and do it. So that's what we did there, uh, hence why we retrieved that beautiful $2 target, uh, $2 coin, I should say, and hopefully uh, we can hit on a few more. So awesome stuff. We have so much ground to cover out here, uh, so we'll do the best we can for the next hour, and then we better get out of here and get the boys. So fingers crossed, everybody, for a florin. So how's that? I just dug that hole out really quickly. Uh, it's only very shallow target, and uh, to be honest, I did not think much of it. It was very jumpy, uh, nice signal, but it was very jumpy, you know, a nice high tone, uh, but jumpy one at that. So uh, was I wrong or what? Uh, look what we got. A beautiful Australian ram head shilling, a 1953 a ram head shilling. Let's bring down here because I'm a little bit shaky. So what an amazing coin to find. And another one uh, too at that. So we got one there earlier. And a little thrippence and the Gallipoli pendant. So what a ripper. Today is turning out to be, as I said, a pre-decimal day. And not really a gold coin day at all. There he is. Another gold coin. A $2 coin. Or maybe a $1 coin. It is jumping to 22 there. Uh, it may even be a bit of a coin spill. Who knows? Could be wrong. Uh, this could be a chopped up can laying on the surface too and sometimes what they do so we'll try and hit on him with the pinpointer first well, there's a pen in the grass look at that a paper mate and not grass mate he's in the grass oh there he is look at that a surface two dollar coin 
What a bloody ripper. That's what we're really here for. However, I also don't mind digging those pre-decimals, of course. So let's stand up and uh, let's see if there's anything else there. As uh, it was sort of jumping around, a couple of different targets. Uh, there is too. Well, that might be a bit of rubbish. Let's jump back down with a pinpointer. It seems to be we've got a target over here and maybe over here. So maybe... Who knows, maybe a pre coin and another uh, gold coin. Righto. Oh, there he is. We do too. Another gold coin. A little coin spill. What a ripper. Now let's see. Okay, we seem to have another target back here too. Uh, might have to dig for that guy. I don't think he's on the surface at all. And we'll grab that pen. 12. There was a higher signal here though, and a 15 there. Maybe that $2 coin I was just throwing around a little bit because he was on his side. Anyway, we'll give that 15 a dig, and we'll give that 12, 13 a dig there. See what comes of it. Anything good, I will come back and show you. Okay, so we still haven't moved. We dug out the 15 and the 12. We got those other two $2 coins, as you've seen, are laying on the surface with the pen. And we picked them all up and dug the 15 and the 12, and nothing really to rant or rave about. A 15 being a ring pull, and the 12 being a little bit of uh, rubbish, just a little bit of scrap tin or something. Let's see, we've got another target here, though. He's sort of doing what that $2 coin did. He's sort of throwing around a lit uh, a little bit there. So I do say he's probably part of that coin spill. We sort of got the uh, two $2 coins somewhere there and the 15 and the 12 there. So I've sort of taken that horseshoe button uh, back out or I will take it back out again. Basically just try and hit on those higher signals. There we go. He was not deep at all. We probably did not even need to dig for him. That's, uh, that's what, five bucks uh, just in this little area. So awesome stuff. Another five dollars for the month of February. Next good signal, 25, 26, 28, and uh, some really nice depth about it. I'm running my sensitivity at 20 at the moment, uh, just due to the amount of EMI at this site uh, coming from the club rooms over there. As I sort of uh, venture away from the club rooms though, I am bumping that up, uh, trying to gain that little bit more depth. So uh, just to reduce the chatter too, I also dropped uh, my recovery speed uh, from eight down to six, and just swing that little bit slower. He is not a very big target at all. You see pinpointing there, he was only just picking up that target. So I do believe it's gonna be a one cent coin. It could be a little thrippence. However, it's not sort of the right numbers either. But then again, like you see in a lot of my videos, the numbers uh, don't really mean a thing. Uh, you know, unless this guy was ringing up a 14, uh, he is the right signal, the right high number for me to be digging him, regardless of whether I think he's a one or two cent coin which he is, uh, look, that could have easily been a silver anyway. So never mind, never mind. Another one cent coin for today for the collection. I'll tell you what, these high numbers, high target signals are coming out thick and fast today. I don't mind if I do. That could easily be a nice penny. Uh, we're gonna give him a dig. The last hole is a little bit messy and uh, working around here is a little bit of a sensitive area where people stand and we'll see it. So I wanna be clean. So we'll give him a dig and uh, we'll come back, give you a look. Well, I don't know what I was worried about. Uh, that plug turned out beautiful then, didn't it? Uh, not bad at all, if I do say myself. Uh, the ground is very crumbly out here though. So I do like to try and uh, dig as neat as I can. Very volcanic, look at that. Every time I sit the pinpointer down going off on the soil there is a way to stop that and reduce the sensitivity so anyway I try and be as near as I can in some areas especially oh look at that we're tricked another two cent coin some areas I really try and be as clean as I can though because you know let's face it if your holes are a little bit messy and out here I mean I can dig a neat hole but out here the ground is just so dry and crumbly so if your holes can, uh, might be a little bit messy uh, make sure to always dig as neat and clean as you can and to always make sure you fill them in like that What a ripper. You wouldn't even know I was there, would you? We found our next good target at 2021 
hopefully another gold coin. We have dug a few sneaky ones uh, that we have not shown on camera today. We must be up to at least a $10 though, so especially with that coin spill we got before, we dug another dollar and not too far away too. So I'll just mark that guy there. Uh, we've got a nice deep target we need to dig. So just wanted to show you really quickly though, how we are working under the avenue of trees here, under the beautiful old uh, oak and acorn trees. Uh, you've probably seen a lot of the acorns laying on the ground as I've been going along. So really, really cool. Uh, this is sort of where all the people would sort of sit uh, back in the day, uh, obviously under the trees gathering uh, under the shade and also they still do it today Eric sort of set up this back corner where I'm working at the moment as really a little hub uh, of an area uh, for the people to stand and gather uh, just due to the shade even though the football club rooms are way over at the other side of the oval uh, this is where people prefer to sit and stand so really cool I tell you what I can see why too it's not the greatest uh, hottest day today uh, you know there is a bit of overcast and whatnot the sun's sort of making its way out when it can however it is quite a nice area a beautiful area nice shady cool calm area so really cool i uh, always enjoy the places i go uh, when detecting you know uh, just the the area uh, exploring exploring the history of the site and also just the the fact that i get to see some uh, places that i would never have otherwise i probably bothered visiting you know without detecting i may not have ever went there in my life and the fact that I now detect, I have done for years, obviously, uh, basically I've visited some fascinating places. And uh, one that, you know, ones that I often sit there and think about and sit uh, and, and think, you know, I must get back there again. And I will. Uh, just basically whether I uh, do any detecting or not, I will get back there again just to enjoy these places uh, that I've found. So uh, through metal detecting, amazing, amazing hobby. So let's see what we got. I think we got him out. We don't have him out, we've got to be close. He's quite the deep one too, so I'm hoping. There he is, still in there, hoping for a pre decimal coin. Let's do our best not to scratch him, because there'd be nothing worse, especially if it's a nice silver coin. Okay, he's still there. What are we doing? Two hands, we'll come back. I do not want to scratch this coin. Two hands will come back, give you a look what comes out. Well, well, well then, that was quite the neat surprise. We got a beautiful early Cedar Britannia, 1890 something, I can just see it, 1897 I think it is, uh, English half penny. Wow, what a bloody ripper. That is awesome. I was expecting a silver, however, that is just as nice. Oh, 1897, I think I was right there, 1897. Wow, amazing. Amazing, I just love finding the early English coins, whether it be the copper or the silver. So I think we may have nicked him just up the top there, just a tiny bit, so took a little bite out of him. Never mind, 1897, a beautiful English half penny, and another one for today's a pre-decimal day. It's not a gold coin day at all, really, is it? Uh, as I said though before, I think we do have at least $10, so uh, uh, well worth coming out for, that's for sure. Uh, if not for the gold coins, definitely for the pre-decimal coins. Who does not love finding them? So how's this one? Uh, we sort of noticed some new benches over here, uh, over the back side of the oval. Uh, they're just putting them in, so uh, really cool. They've got the galvanised droppers there, uh, everything ready to go, the holes dug. Uh, they're just waiting for the concrete now. I just sort of come over here, though, take advantage of while this area is all ripped up. As you can see, uh, they had to auger those holes out and bring a tractor in here to do it. So uh, the ground is sort of uh, quite messy, and I've got a nice signal uh, not too far uh, away from the post here, uh, from the new seating area, and look at that we got a next coin, a Rupenny coin. Awesome, awesome. This site definitely needs to be done over really, really well. You know, I need to really come back here with the six inch coil and uh, hum around these seating areas once again and do it again. So awesome stuff, beautiful Rupenny, not too deep right beside uh, the seating arrangements so with the new seating arrangements I should say and we're going to continue on see what else we can find. So this might be quite an advantage, uh, all this loose dirt they've dug out. Uh, you can see we've got another nice signal right there. Let's give him a look. I don't even think they've dug this guy out. I think he's still hiding underneath the surface. Uh, really cool though, you know. Uh, while it's all opened up and all messy like this, we really can't be doing too much damage. And we can just sort of see what's going to be there before they fill it all in. Unfortunately, we're wrong with that one. Just a bottle top. Never mind, another bit of rubbish saved, isn't it? 
and out of the grounds here. Straight under the gum tree, this one. It sounds like we've got another coin. Uh, let's give them a run over with the pinpointer. It's really going to tell a story. Someone's probably sat here eating their lunch, watching the cricket, lost a coin. Oh, he may be a can. I may be wrong with this guy. He sounds pretty big. Oh, no, look at that. I was wrong again. We got a $1 coin, another gold coin for the month of February. We must be over what? Two, three, four hundred dollars. We must have thousands. Okay, so while I dig this target out, our next target, and uh, basically retrieve this coin, hopefully, I'm going to tell you a story. It is story time, and the day is really changing too. That's not my story though. Basically, uh, I had a bit of free time the other day. I finished work early, uh, doing my delivery run. I basically smashed the day out. I quickly delivered all my packages and uh, did all my deliveries. Anyway, long story short, I had about half an hour to kill, and I thought, why not go check out one of the old op shops? So I did. I often go around my local op shops, checking them, uh, checking them for uh, matchbox cars, marbles, cap guns, anything, anything cool. Anyway, long story short, beside this op shop is an old house, isn't it? 1860s built uh, and I could not help myself I walked out of the op shop and I walked straight next door uh, well actually a lie I walked out to my car first grabbed my portfolio uh, portfolio I should say of fines and uh, bugger it was a bottle a bottle top that one grabbed my portfolio uh, of basically what I present to the landowners uh, full of my old previous fines coins uh, buckles badges pendants uh, you name it it's there so took it out and uh, showed the lady I knocked on the door showed the lady and guess what I got a big yes and she actually said mate oh my god uh, she said me and my partner want to buy metal detectors she said you are the perfect guy to come knocking on our door we'd love to learn from you and not only that as she said uh, I just think what what uh, what you're doing is amazing. Uh, it's a massive yes. She said yes in capital letters. Any time you want, uh, I got his and her phone number. I basically tee up, go to a dig there very soon. I can't wait. Well, wasn't this guy quite the effort then? Uh, we dug sort of there, uh, back there. Uh, we sort of threw the dirt out, pinpointed it. There was nothing. It still looks like there's a target in there. If I turn the pinpointer back on, uh, it just sort of hits on the, the dirt there, the volcanic soil. It goes off on everything, so we're really having trouble pinpointing that guy, and uh, sort of made a bit of a mess, but that's okay. As you can see, the tractor coming in here, making a bit of a mess. All the ground needs to be leveled and uh, fixed again, as Eric said. So uh, dig your heart out, he goes. Just fill your holes in. That's what we're going to do. So we really can't uh, make too much of a mess in here, as I said before, uh, especially considering what the tractor's done. We have our next nice target, and we got a little sixpence. What a ripper. We are definitely on fire with the pre-decimal coins today, aren't we? 1951 sixpence. So love that tarnish, uh, that basically uh, patina that they get sitting on the ground, in the ground for so long. So uh, what are we? 2022 and 1951. He's been in the ground for, what, 71 years. So really, really cool. What a ripper of a coin. We got our next $2 coin. Uh, what a bloody ripper. However, I'm not sure how much this guy is worth. As you can see, he's missing quite a chunk off him. So uh, quite a nice clean cut too. Uh, that definitely has not been done with the lawnmower. That's been done in some sort of a press or machine or something. So ooh, someone has been defacing $2 coins. I wonder how much it makes it worth now. As I said, uh, probably about $1.80, isn't it? Rightio, it's the very last target. I did not film it, bugger. Uh, however, look what we're finishing on. We are finishing strong with a beautiful 1954 Australian coat of arms, Florin. I really did not expect that guy to pop out either. I thought I was digging another two cent coin or a one cent coin, which we've dug plenty of today. However, that is bloody awesome. I think I even mentioned somewhere through this video or today uh, at the start in the conclusion, basically that I wanted to find a Florin. We've had quite a few come out from here in the past. So how awesome is that? 1954, beautiful Australian Florin. Now that means we are finishing nice and strong today. So anyway, time to go get the boys. And uh, once home, we will do a conclusion and show you everything cleaned up uh, that we've found today. So awesome stuff. And we will see you at home.
Righty all, so we've got you at home in the backyard, ready to take you through a look at what we did today. Amazing how the day has changed too, a blue sky and the sun is out a cranking now, so it was trying to get out behind the clouds all day, I just could not do it, so never mind, basically as I said, got all our finds laid out, ready to take you through a look at what we did today, and nice to see them on the board here. Uh, lately we've been shooting a lot of our conclusion videos, uh, wrap up videos on site, uh, just generally uh, in the grass or you know on the pouch, on the finds pouch, and that is quite okay. Uh, it's just nice to see all the trash and the treasure laid out together because I think that's really important you know I always like to show uh, basically the trashy items that I'm digging uh, to be able to get this uh, to get the coins to get the treasure so really really cool as you can see uh, a lot of it is just bottle tops and uh, you know cans uh, all those higher signals uh, that I'm hunting so anyway down to the treasure that's enough of that uh, we better not forget also about the beautiful paper mate pen that uh, we picked up in the grass too what a ripper uh, he will be going in the car for future permission and uh, contact details and what have you that I'm always constantly writing down so anyway as you've seen we were hunting for the gold coins today we've got a few down the bottom we're going to start up the top though uh, with all the pre-decimals we end up finding we were not out there for those however they just popped out of the ground so two 1950 rue pennies a 1956 down below a uh, little 1915 thrippence beside those guys uh, following through a 1953 beautiful ram head shilling and a 54 florin coming out towards the end what a crap also a 58 shilling beside the florin and a 51 sixpence all in the 1950s a lot of these coins uh, generally shows you know uh, when, when these places were most active so also coming out is the 1910 a beautiful uh, seated English Britannia one penny I tell you what I did not film him either I missed uh, getting him on film a bit of a shame so 1964 rue penny beside that guy and down below have uh, we seen this uh, this one come out little 1891 half seated Britannia one half penny so he actually cleaned up quite nice it's a shame we took a bit of a bite out of the top of him with the shovel though isn't it so never mind never mind so down below we'll jump down past the gold coins you see all the two cent coins we're digging and the one cent coins we're digging are targeting those higher numbers uh, let's face it some of these sites that I visit especially the one I was at today a very volcanic soil as you may have seen the pinpointer was going off in the ground in the dirt even when there was no targets existing so uh, you know some of these higher numbers the point Point being some of those higher numbers that you're digging uh, can turn out to be a silver coin or even a gold coin uh, those numbers really throw around and uh, don't fix on an ideal number that you're looking for you know generally a 21 is a two dollar coin a 22 is a one dollar coin like you see in a lot of my videos though uh, those numbers can really throw around and not fixate on what they're meant to be so we dig it all uh, anyway two four six eight ten and twelve dollars uh, i think $12 maybe $11.80 we will call him $12 anyway so $12 with $2 coins on that side jumping over and we've got 13 14 15 and $16 in gold coins and we also snagged a 50 cent coin uh, not too sh uh, not too deep so around that new seating area so $16.50 uh, basically uh, for the month of February another $16.50 to uh, you know basically to add to the collection so what a ripper what a ripper anyway my last find and uh, my favourite find for today, uh, what a cracker it is too. I'll turn him over this way first. Basically this is a for king and country Anzac pendant a medallion commemorating basically uh, when the Anzac forces uh, landed in Gallipoli in 1915, a uh, 25th of April there. As you can see down the bottom, uh, lest we forget, 25th of April 1915 so these were minted in Melbourne uh, by a company called Stokes and Sons and they were basically uh, made uh, in order for the Department of Education Victoria uh, to then later hand out to the kids in 1916 just one year after the troops landed had uh, to commemorate basically uh, the Anzac forces landing in Gallipoli Australia New Zealand uh, Army Corps forces so a very very special piece and I tell you what I've dug about five or six of those now uh, mostly in pretty good condition too you know generally the pendants uh, depending on where they come out from uh, they come out in all different condition he is a cracker though so really really nice anyway guys I really hope you enjoyed that is about it for us today another $16.50 into the collection five silvers and a pendant and a little bit of rubbish to sort save and scrap later so anyway I really hope you enjoyed be sure to hit that like comment subscribe button below and I hope to see you next time. Cheers guys. Happy hunting.